A quadratic inequality contains one or more of the following symbols, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, and the highest power of the variable involved is 2. For example, This is a quadratic inequality since it contains one or more of the above inequality symbols and the highest power of the variable involved is 2. When solving quadratic inequalities you should write them in this general format with the variable squared term first followed by the variable term and the constant term leaving zero at the right hand side of the inequality statement. This allows you to solve the inequality easily. To solve the inequality, you must find the values of the variable that make the statement true. Quadratic inequalities arise in many different areas. One area is in physics. For example, when determining the range of times an object in motion is above or below a certain height. Another area is in business, when trying to determine the range of selling prices required in order to make a profit. We are going to complete an example taken from a business perspective. So looking at this example, we are told that a company manufactures and sells flashlights. For a particular model, it has already been estimated that at a price of P euro per unit, the weekly cost C and revenue R in thousands of euro are given by the following equations. So the cost C is equal to 27 minus 2P and revenue R is equal to 10P minus P squared. Part 1 of the question asks us to find the prices for which the company will make a profit. For the company to make a profit, the cost of producing the flashlights should be less than the revenue received from selling the flashlights. Now our cost was given by 27 minus 2p and the revenue R in the question is equal to 10p minus p squared. Now we're going to try to write this in the general quadratic format. So to do that we'll subtract 10p and add p squared to both sides of the inequality. And that will give us this. You should now see that this is a quadratic inequality since we have one or more of the above inequality symbols and the highest power of the variable involved is 2. Looking at the left hand side of this quadratic inequality statement, you should recognise that this is a U-shaped curve since the coefficient of P squared is positive. To find the x-intercepts of this curve, so that is the parts where the curve will cut the x-axis, we will set this equal to 0. So solving for p, we'll factorise. You should be familiar with this already. You're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 27 and add to give minus 12. So that is minus 9 and minus 3. So these are where the curve cuts the x-axis. So we'll do a quick sketch of our curve. We know that the curve crosses the x-axis at 3 and 9. And we know that it is a u-shaped curve. So this is just a sketch of the curve, p squared minus 12p plus 27. So when p is equal to 3 or p is equal to 9 euro, then the value of our curve, our quadratic expression, is equal to 0. But we were asked to solve p squared minus 12p plus 27 less than 0. This corresponds to the part of the curve that is below the x-axis. So this is the part of the curve here. 
we must give the values of p that correspond to this section. So that is here, where p is greater than 3, or where p is less than 9. So if we have a price that is greater than 3 euro, or a price that is less than 9 euro, we will make a profit. So we can write that as our price is between 3 euro and 9 euro. We should check if we are correct. So we are saying that any price between 3 euro and 9 euro should make a profit. Whereas any price less than 3 euro or greater than 9 euro will not make a profit. So we'll check this now. So we'll check P being equal to 5 euro. Now to make a profit, we said that the cost should be less than the revenue. That was 27 minus 2P less than 10P minus P squared. So filling in our value of 5 for P will give us And working this out, we will get that 17 is less than 25, which is true. So we'll check a value then that is less than 3 euro. So we'll check and p is equal to 2 euro. So again, our cost should be less than revenue to make a profit. So filling in 2 for p. And working this out, we will get that 23 is less than 16, which is false. So we do not make a profit, which is what we expected. Checking a price then above 9 euro, so we'll check 10 euro. So filling in 10 for P. And this will give us that 7 is less than 0, which is false. So this proves that we are correct. The second part of the question asked us to find the values of P for which we will make a loss. If we are to make a loss, then the cost of producing the flashlights should be greater than the revenue received from selling them. That is... And rearranging this to get it in the general quadratic format gives us and this is done in the exact same way as we did for part 1. Now the only difference here is in the first part of the question our inequality symbol was less than and now our inequality symbol is greater than. This corresponds to the part of the curve that is above the x-axis. So that is this part of the curve here and in this section. We must give the values of P that correspond to these sections. So that is where P is greater than 9 or P is less than 3. So down here we would write that P is less than 3 or p is greater than 9. So a price that is less than 3 euro or a price that is greater than 9 euro will produce a loss. And you can check your answers in the same way as we did for the first part of the question.